One of the great things about a piece of CRM software is the ability to store and track your entire interaction history with your customers. One problem that many dealers face is that their staff doesn't adequately take advantage of this. This video goes over how you can first locate customer lead history and then dig through your customer lead history inside the VIN Solutions CRM. VIN Solutions is a great piece of CRM software and one of the benefits it gives you is the ability to find and link to a customer's lead history from many many places. From the dashboard here we can see in our recent messages any customer who's emailed recently we can click their name and be taken directly to the customer's lead profile. We'll see that on the right here that just popped up. We go back to the dashboard and we can look at all of our appointments from a manager's point of view getting to know the lead history of these dozen or so appointments that are coming in today would certainly be beneficial. You also have the ability to go into the tasks menu. Customer names will appear over here. Now I don't have any on this login. Uh, you can also go to the leads. You can also search for a customer name. So Searching for myself in the tool brings up anybody with my last name and then I can load the customer history history from there. So VIN Solutions makes it easy to interact with your customer history, but how do we effectively use that history and make sure that we're educated and ready to talk to the customer about their interactions with our dealership? What I have on the screen right now is a customer profile of a customer, we'll call him Bob, and Bob has submitted one, two, three, four, five, six leads all about a week ago on a handful of different vehicles. And what will happen at a lot of dealerships is the, the salesperson, the BDC agent, the manager, whoever it might be, will only take the time to look at the green active profile. And what we see here is that lead is on a 2015 Civic that ends with a stock number of 82A. Now what a optimal use of the CRM would be is the salesperson or manager working through these other five lead profiles to see if the vehicles are the same or if we've changed stock numbers. So we look at the one above it, it's a 2013 with 56A, the one above that is the same vehicle, the one above that is I believe a different vehicle. No, the same vehicle as the first one. Then we have an inquiry on a 2016. Then we have an inquiry on a 2016 Camry. So this customer has wide ranging interests and it's important that we factor that in when we're working with them. Um, each of these entries in this system or this section indicates a separate interaction with your store. Now these are all website leads but it is possible to have an interaction that is a walk-in lead or a phone up. So when you receive an internet lead or are just assigned to a customer, it's absolutely critical that we dig into here and look through the lead history. And that's the lead history for each of these interactions. So if we pick this active one, what we want to do to effectively use the lead history for this interaction is start to scroll down. So we see some details on the vehicle, the salesperson assigned, and then we start getting into our most recent interactions. Our most newest interactions will be at the top, and our original interaction will be way down here at the bottom. So the interesting thing about VIN Solutions is that each interaction has its own history. So if we move to the most recent one on this Camry, we will see that, of course, the vehicle of interest is different, but the only thing that carries over are the text messages and then individual emails that went out about that vehicle. So it's possible to have different leads, different emails, different phone calls, logs. It's, it's really important to remember that each of these interactions can have its own history. Once you take advantage of that fact, you'll have better communications with your customers and you will 
sell more vehicles as a direct effect of that.